Hello, welcome to App in the Cloud YouTube show with me, Daniel Hindrikes. In this episode, I will show you how you can use .NET MAUI on a Mac, even if Visual Studio for Mac don't have any support for .NET MAUI. So today I will first show you how you can use Visual Studio Code, and then I will show you how you even can use Visual Studio for Mac, the latest preview. So let's get started. While there are no templates in Visual Studio for Mac to create a MAUI project, we need to use the command line. So we will do that by typing .NET new MAUI and to give it a name, MAUI demo app. Now we have created a MAUI project and we can open it in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so now we can go to terminal to start this. We can use this ter terminal inside of Visual Studio Code if we want to. So let's go to the terminal and then we can start this app. So when we do that, we need to select what target framework we want to start it for. So we can go here to the CS project file and see what frameworks this project are for. We have .NET 6 Android, .NET 6 iOS, and .NET 6 Mac Catalyst, and also Windows if our platform is Windows. But let's run this on Mac. So .NET build, and then dash T, cool, run, dash F for framework, and then we specify .NET 6 dash mac at the list and then we hit enter and now the project will build and then it will run okay now we have started our app on mac and we can click the click me button here if we want to but now it's time to start to build your app if we want to run it on ios we can do that we just need to change the target platform when we starting the project. So let's instead here write iOS. Not net 60 iOS. Now it will build and we'll start on a simulator. Now you can see that the app started on an iPad mini. If we want to start it on a specific iOS device, we can do that. So let's start this on a phone simulator instead. So we will close this, we'll go back to the terminal, let's clear it. So now we need to know the ID of the simulator that we want to start, so we will run uh, Xcode command, xc run sim ctl list And now we will get all our simulators here. And here we can go and copy a UDID. So let's take this iPhone 12 mini. Copy that. And now we can run the same command again to start, but we will add what device we want to start in the end. So let's do that. .NET build t colon run dash f net 6.0 dash ios and then we will add this in the end slash p colon underscore device name underscore device name equal colon v2 colon udid is equal to and then we paste the id that we get from the list and now it will start build as soon it will start so now it's starting on iphone 12 mini instead of the default simulator okay but if you want to use visual studio we can still do that and that also means that we can debug it. The biggest problem with Visual Studio um, 
is that lack of support for multi-targeting because .NET MAU are using multi-targeting of projects to be able to have the single project approach. So, but if we skip to have multiple targets specified when we want to debug it, we can debug even with a, uh, Visual Studio. So let's do that. We will open the project file. So we remove everything else except for not Net6, Mac Catalyst. There are still some problem here with iOS, but it works fine with Mac Catalyst. So let's run it there. And if you want to run it on iOS, you can of course use the terminal. But to debug it, you can do that on a Mac. So let's start. And we have a breakpoint here to see that you are able to debug it. So now you can see it hit the breakpoint. So we press next to continue. And here the app is. So let's go and build your first .NET MAUI app. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there will be more videos about .NET MAUI and other cool stuff. See you next time.